Hey everyone, Merry After Christmas. All right, I just wanted to share with you guys all my cool puzzles that I have now collected, the uh, additions to my to-do video file. I thought that would be a fun little video. Um, and if you guys want to share what you guys got for Christmas, please feel free because I am so curious. I've seen some really cool pictures online of what people have been posting and that they've gotten. So I'm so curious. What did Santa bring to you guys? Let's get into this. Hey everyone! So, I thought it would be really fun to jump on and share with y'all everything that Santa was nice and brought me across friends, family members, all that good stuff. But first, I want to give a shout out. You guys are all awesome. Let me be clear about that. All of you, every one of you. But today, one of you is extra awesome, and that is AMG because we got a Christmas card from her in the mail. And that was so cool. So we just wanted to say thank you because that was such a nice surprise. It was something we were not expecting. And it just showed up to the store and we're like, what is this? Oh, it's a card. Oh my God, that was so nice of her. So thank you, Anne. It was very much appreciated. It definitely made our day. And Merry Christmas to you and everyone else, of course. Ugh. Okay. Well, I guess it's not Christmas anymore, but Merry After Christmas. Back on the dragon you go. He's getting pretty decked out. Alrighty, so I have some pretty neat puzzles for you now. Not all of these came specifically as Christmas presents, but they are now on my to-do video list and they came in in the last few days, so I'm counting them like they were kind of Christmas presents. Starting with this dolphin. This was a bit of an accident that we ordered. We were experimenting something with Wish and we wanted to see where it would ship. Um, a little bit of an experiment we had going on at the store here. So I am now in possession of a Wish crystal art, or not crystal art, uh, crystal puzzle dolphin, which is going to be very much like the Cheshire cat here, but uh, it's Wish. So I thought it would be really fun if I do a cool little comparison video for you guys. So I'll put the dolphin together and I'll compare it. What's a real brand, like, because uh, this was a bit puzzled. What's the puzzled brands like next to Wish? Does Wish hold up? Is it cheap Chinese crap? Is it worth it? Uh, in all honesty, I do not know. I had really good things to say about Cheshire Cat. I would definitely do one of their brand again. I don't know if the same is going to be said about the Wish one. We're going to find out. That one will be coming up shortly. Um, so these two, these I haven't done a Masterpieces puzzle in a long time. I've done a couple of the older ones. I haven't done anything they've released recently. So my friend Andrew got me a kitty's puzzle as well as an Alice in Wonderland themed one because you know everyone knows that's my favorite. Um, so these will be really interesting to do. I'm going to be really curious to see what Masterpieces was like back in the day. And I say that loosely, they're not that old but you know um, they're not right now <laughs> and what they're like right now. So I'm excited to do those. I'm not sure which of the two I want to break into first. I mean, the kitties are so cute. They are. There's a funny looking one here. Uh, they can see. You can always do the close-up close cam. cam. Yeah, I'll do the close-up cam a little closer to the end so you guys can see the images a little bit better. Um, and then, you know, Alice in Wonderland. I'm excited to show you a closer up of this one. This one's really trippy. I like the art in this. All right. Next up, we have Grateful House. And another shout out because this puzzle comes with a story. Not all y'all were tuned into the live that the day that this happened, but Laura's actually won a couple puzzles from these guys from contests that they've been doing. And she was nice enough to tell them to send one of them on to me. So she got us in contact. She recommended the carousel one to me. And when I was looking at their puzzles, in all honesty, it was really hard to pick. There were so many puzzles that they make that are beautiful. I really have my eye on that polar bear one of theirs as well. But in the end, I decided I would go with Laura's suggestion on this one, and I took the carousel one. So they shipped me this for free, courtesy of Laura. So another huge shout out to Laura. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for getting me in touch with them, because I know they're excited about seeing this one in a video as well. That'll probably be... I've got a couple um, Christmassy ones that I want to finish up for you guys. Crystal, you'll be happy. I'm going to do the holiday cats. Um, and then I have an ornaments one that I want to share with you guys that I got from Christmas's past. Uh, but after that, Grateful House and this one. 
You guys may have seen my Instagram post about this one. This is a Puzz Quest puzzle. I actually found these guys. These guys really surprised me. I reached out to them because I just happened to find them on Instagram. It was actually after your Grateful House reached out that I was like, well, what other little puzzle brands are out there? These guys, I believe, are local to Ontario. Like, they make it, these things out of Peterborough, which is freaking awesome. And I really, really liked their story. So I reached out to them. I could go on and on about this one for realistically half an hour. So this will be its own separate video because the, like, this puzzle has a really cool story to it. And they really surprised me. This showed up Christmas Eve. I was not expecting it. I come into work. It's on my chair. And I'm like, what? And I open it. Whoa! They sent me this. What? Oh my god, that's amazing! Um, so this will be probably right up after the Christmas ordinance one is done. After the two Christmas ones is done, this one's on deck first, then Grateful House. Okay, we come into these. <laughs> this guy's from my mom. Fun fact, we actually sell these colored in puzzles. Um, she tricked me. She, she did a really big trick on me. I sold her this puzzle. <laughs> The day she came in and bought it, it was getting to be just about impossible for her to actually come in and buy me a puzzle from her store when I was not here. So she tricked me. Um, she thought this would be a really cool puzzle for me to share with you guys because I have done one before and I do like them, but it will be interesting for me to do the puzzle and show you guys what they look like when they are colored in. Um, when she bought it, she fed me some yarn about it being for my aunt and I'm like, yeah, whatever. I mean, that's kind of weird. I don't think she likes puzzles, but maybe she's looking for something to do in the winter. I don't know. I bought it. Christmas Day rolls around, and I open this up, and I'm like, I blinked for a minute, and I'm like, I thought you said you bought that for Aunt Liz. She, I did, didn't I? You got me. She, she got me. She got me this year. Usually, I can tell what I'm about to get. She got me. So, I'm real excited to share that one with you guys. That'll be a bit of a long haul. It'll be a while before you see this colored in. It's like those adult coloring books, if you've ever done them. Very time consuming, but I'm excited nonetheless. Alrighty, these three are from Casey. Now, the top one, to no one's great surprise, he got me the Ursula Villainous Puzzle. Come on, it's Casey's favorite um, Disney cartoon, is Little Mermaid, like come on. He, uh, if anything, I'm surprised this one hasn't made its way into my collection already. <laughs> like, I'm surprised it took this long. I'm not surprised he got it. I really thought, I'm like, okay, it'll be Ursula for Christmas, like, 100%. He, he's hurt his head if it's not Ursula. <laughs> so we've got Ursula. Gonna make some exciting additions to our Chillin' with the Villains playlist. I'm excited because I now have all six from the original series. So if Ravensburger at any point now discontinues this, I am safe. Because, holy crap, did I ever have a lot of them now? Captain Hook. The other third, the other one that I am missing from the series, which is weird. Well, weird and not. I'm not a huge fan of Peter Pan, so I can see why I didn't buy this one first. Um, this one it was the most available around in the area, though. When we first started finding these things, we went into Toys R Us, and there had to be like 20 of the Captain Hook one, and one or two of some of the other ones. It was crazy. Uh, obviously, a lot of people are on the same page as me, and Peter Pan is maybe just not. Eh, it was okay. Or maybe they just don't like Captain Hook. That's also a possibility. There's so many other cool villains. And Maleficent. I'm excited about this one, too. Um, Sleeping Beauty is a Disney movie. Not a huge fan of it, but I do like Maleficent. She's one of my favorite villains. She'll never measure up to the Queen of Hearts. So sorry, Alice in Wonderland is first forever. Um, but I do like her story. I actually like her story in Once Upon a Time, too. If you guys haven't watched that show, I highly recommend it. It's pretty cool. Um... And actually, this one looks a little bit easier than some of the other villainous puzzles because not only do you get the little thing on his pedestal, as always, but there's like this lovely spot where there are the fairies and this blue light, so really cuts into the picture frames, which are traditionally the hardest part of these puzzles. <sighs> okay, who's tired of hearing me talk? <laughs> that was a lot of words. My goodness. But all for very cool puzzles. So, who is ready for the close-up cam? Moving day, one sec. Okay. Okay. 
ready, Freddy? Alrighty, here we are with Maleficent. You can see what I mean about the frame space being kind of cut into with all the extra stuff. So, out of all these, I think this will be, it'll possibly rival Scar for me for being the easiest villainous puzzle yet. Moving into Captain Hook. Yeah, you got your standard Disney villainous puzzle. All the frames, nothing really super special about it, unless you really like Peter Pan. Um, you know, there you go. <laughs> Do. Moving on down, Casey's favorite. Again, super surprised that, uh, not surprised I got it, but super surprised it's taken us a year to collect this one. Look at us go. <laughs> Do -do. We got the Color Me puzzle. So you can see all those super fine details. Holy smokes, I'm gonna be busy with that one for a little while. It gives you some suggestions of how to color it, but it's up to me. Yay! My Puzz Quest puzzle. It is so cool, I'm so excited. It looks like it'll be a challenge with all that forest around it. Very nondescript and dark. We'll see. I've never done one before, so I don't know what the quality will be like. Same with these Grateful House puzzles. I hear lots of good things online. Never ever done one until now. It's gonna be interesting. Uh, the interesting thing I found about this box art, ooh, you have to flip it around to the back to see what the whole image looks like. So this is the puzzle that I'll be assembling. The carousel, Laura's suggestion. We'll see how much fun it is. I think I'm gonna like it, spoiler alert. All right, my uh, potentially cheap Chinese crap. We, we won't write it off completely just yet. I'll put it together first before we, uh, before we confirm or deny that. Alrighty, we've got Furry Friends, the Masterpieces puzzle. So cute. Um, I just love this. It, he looks kind of stunned, but he also looks angry at the same time, which just amuses me. And he's super fluffy, reminds me of my cat. Although this little black one here also reminds me very much of my kitty. And the Alice in Wonderland one. Alrighty, what do you guys think of all the details? I think they're super pretty. I like the color scheme that they use too, especially the rabbit. Very, very pretty. I'm excited to see what the quality is going to be like. Alright. <sighs> okay. More words from me. Okay, so. I need your help. <laughs> this is a ton of puzzles. Where do I start? <laughs> help me out here, you guys. I got two Christmassy puzzles to knock off. These guys, these were super special gifts, so I really, really should knock them out of the park first. So besides these two, what would you guys like to see next? What would you like me to start working on? If it's the color puzzle, I will start work on it fairly early on, but please be aware. I gotta color the thing in, so it will take some time, but happy to work on it. I am excited to do it. I think it'll give me something to keep my hands busy and out of trouble all day. Yay! Um, other than that, what would you guys like to see? What would you like to see come up before the other? Um, I don't know where to start. <laughs> so help me out. And also, please feel free to share with me, the rest of us, what you guys got for Christmas from Santa, in, or maybe in your stocking, or anything like that, either in the comments, or we will try to arrange another Zoom call probably early on in the year. So if you guys want to keep your puzzles handy, um, we can all maybe share what we got. That would be pretty cool. Anyways, you guys, that is the great Christmas puzzle haul of 2021. All in all, a very successful year. Um, do any of you all have a spare closet? I think I'm gonna need it. <laughs> or a new house. <laughs> all right, you guys. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good night.